Hi, I'm James Muir, and this is a screencast for Make More Noise. Uh, first off, a little apology. It's been too long since I've done one of these, uh, so sorry for all the people that have been waiting for them, and uh, hopefully I can catch up a little bit over the next few weeks. I've got a little bit more free time coming up. Uh, so what are we going to do? Well, we're going to continue where we left off, which was doing a couple of screencasts in association with the lovely chaps at loopmasters.com. Uh, they sent through a sample pack, which we discussed before, I believe, which is called When Alien Robot Drums Attack. And we had a look at how to convert EX, um, Rex files uh, into RMX format. And what we're going to do this time for people that don't own Stylus RMX from Spectrasonics is we're going to convert Rex files into EXS24 uh, format so everyone can use them with the sampler that comes built in with Logic. So thanks again to the chaps at www.loopmasters.com. Check out their website, lots of demos, lots of cool free stuff. Uh, probably worth following them on Twitter as well. They're good regular updaters on Twitter. And they also have a list of their special offers and free downloads, which uh, they tweet fairly regularly. So have a look into that. And in the meantime, I'll show you how to use a Rex file in uh, EXS24. So let me just quit Safari. And we've got our usual blank logic startup song here. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm just going to do a clear channel strip. So we're starting from completely blank. So we go reset channel strip and then load up an EXS24. And we want a stereo one because this is a Rex file and the majority of Rex files will be stereo. You might get the odd mono one, but occasionally they, uh, more often than not, they will be stereo. So hit the edit button on the uh, top right hand corner of the screen here and you get your edit window which I think most of you will be familiar with before uh, we've had a look at various different ways of getting stuff into EXS24 so might be worth going back through the old vids um, and then you go to the instrument drop down menu and you've got recycle convert so the first two options are extract MIDI region and make new instrument and extract MIDI region and add samples to current instrument which we'll come back to in a second uh, slice loop and make new instrument, slice loop and add samples to current instrument. Uh, they're more like what we did where we made uh, flexible instruments from the arrange page. So there's another video you can go back and have a look at if you want to get involved in that stuff. But we're going to stick with uh, extracting MIDI and making new instrument. So select that option. And then uh, what I've done is I've already put my uh, Alien Robot Drums Attack folder on my hard drive here. So it comes with EXS kits, which you can see there's a decent selection of there. These are the corresponding audio that go to make up those kits. And then finally we've got the Rex loops. So let's just pick one at random. And we'll go for... Let's try click clack at 130 BPM and see what happens. So once you've got that selected, you then come to the open button here in the bottom right hand corner. Click on that get a little bit of information about who created the file and uh, the chaps behind Recycle, which is Propellerhead. OK that, to click through. Then you get this velocity factor, which is about uh, turning up and down the velocity in the MIDI regions. Uh, I think with most Rex files, you're going to want to leave it at zero uh, because you want the volume to be retained, that the dynamics that the file originally had embedded in it uh, you can push this up and down, so up to 127 or down to zero, but I want it to stay as it was when the creator created it, so I'm just going to select a velocity factor of zero and click OK. Well, astonishingly simple. You've now got a bunch of regions laid out across the keyboard, you can see here, and when you click on the virtual keyboard on the screen, you'll hear each slice play individually. which is all very well and good, but not super musical. So if we just shut down the edit window, and I'll shut down the EXS24 window for now as well, you'll see on our screen, on our EXS track, we've now got a MIDI file, which looks like this, uh, which is basically each one of those slices being triggered from a MIDI note spread up the screen, which means we can reorder them, we can cut out slices we don't like, replace them with other slices, and we get a degree of tempo independence. So even though that loop was 130, uh, we've now got it playing at 120, and it sounds like this. Which is great, but what's really useful about converted Rex files is we can now take the tempo, double click to open the tempo and type in your new tempo. So let's go for 170.
And let's come the other way as well. So try it at 80. And we've got a kind of electronic percussion groove. We can use at various different tempos. And as I said before, the lovely thing about having it as MIDI is you can actually just get in there and cut out a few beats of MIDI, which will give you an effect like this. Or you can take the same MIDI and use it multiple times by copying and pasting. I'm just doing an alt drag here to make a copy. And in fact, what you can even do one stage beyond that is once you've got the copies, you can actually make copies of the copies. I need to have all of those selected before I do this. Again, just an out drag to copy. And that begins to give you some idea of the flexibility that comes from Rex files and using them in EXS24. So let's get our EXS24 editor window open and uh, we'll go back into edit as we did before back under the instrument menu, recycle, convert, and this time we'll go for extract MIDI regions and add samples to current instrument, which means that the next set of Rex hits that we import will be added to the same instrument, but they'll be put higher or lower up the keyboard so we can seamlessly switch between the two of them. Um, as that one was pitched percussion, um, as that one was percussion, let's go for this small Latin percussion. Open. Okay. Velocity factor, same as last time. And what you'll see now is you've now got a bunch more samples added further up the keyboard, which starts getting us into a different set. So again, I'm just going to shut that window down, shut that window down, and uh, as you can see, we've now got another MIDI file. So what we should get now is a transition between the two files on the same track, played from the same EXS24, so any processing we do from here on outwards so if we compress it eq it put some reverb on it they'll be on both sets of samples let's just have a listen through that and i'll uh, get both of those visible in that screen let's glue it together to make it visible okay so that's our first set of midi notes triggering our first rex file and then as we come along from bar three onwards we go into our second midi file And we can do all the same tricks, so we can shorten notes down, which would sound like this. We can copy those notes once they're shortened, which sounds like this. If we want the same thing playing over and over again, we can just delete those notes and just keep copying across. And so on and so on ad infinitum until you've built a completely new built uh, com built a completely new beat of your own. I'm sorry, it's been a while since I've done one of these, and apparently I've lost the ability to speak in the meantime. Uh, so hopefully that's given you an introduction how to load a Rex file up into Logic's EXS24. And just want to say thanks again to the chaps at Loop Masters for sending the samples through and for their help putting together this screencast. I've been James Muir. This has been a screencast for Make More Noise and Loop Masters. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful.